dirty up the page, girl. Dirty up the pages. So, Flare Squad, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today we are finally playing. BTS Universe Story. Now, this was a game created by Net Marble, which focuses on BTS's fictional storyline created by Big Hit. Now, I feel so overwhelmed because there's just a lot of things that's gonna be going on in the games, such as like the creative aspects of it. You could legit create your own story. But uh, we're not gonna jump into that right now. We're gonna jump into the storyline and the whole like decision making stuff. I'm like so excited because y'all know I love the storyline, okay? Yes. But before we jump into the game, quick shout out to the coldest water for this amazing bottle. They do giveaways every single week and announce winners every week. Link is in my description box along with my 10% off code XLS. Okay, this is Roseanne from the future. Real quick, I just realized I've been recording for an hour and so I don't want y'all to like watch a whole hour. So I'm gonna have to like cut up the gameplay get to like exciting uh, the whole game is exciting just like you know just to make the, the video shorter okay anyways okay roll log let's do <sighs> let's make wrong decisions together whoa 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 yo the graphics so oh the animation is so good y'all did really good why am i shaking Shh. 10. Wow. Y'all, the glitters, the shine on the lips. Oh, Y'all playing awake? I can't. The soundtracks are just, I'm gonna get so sidetracked with the soundtracks. We're like, we're singing while trying to like read and do stuff. How did this happen? Where did I, go, where did it go wrong? Are we continuing, continuing Girl Can't Talk? Cause Tay Tay, y'all's the cute beauty mark. Continuing off the Save Me web tune. There you go. And the more I try, the worse everything gets. No. Okay. Oh! Dungeon situation doesn't get any better, even when I stop the, f the fight. Okay. Yo! Jungkook makes the same extreme choice over and over. Oh, it's showing all of the boys' tragedies. The tragedy that befalls Yoongi is unpredictable. Like, a butterfly effect always changes where and when. Jimin. Jimin stays trapped in the psychiatric ward. Mm. <gasps> oh, this has to be Hobie. And Hoseok's injury sends him spiraling into despair. Oh, oh no. Don't do it. No! Y'all, hey, hey, back off. Don't smack my Tay. Oh, and there's Taehyung. Always <laughs> Girl Carrie always crumbling to his father's continued violence. I've only tried to fix the problems I can see. Have I tried to understand the root of my friend's misfortunes? Yes. How much do I really know about my friends? Maybe I was never brave enough to confront their real scars. That's right. And the worlds they've been living in. But I need to do it. I can Shh. See, this is no. Stop getting sidetracked, girl. Because it may be the key to saving them all. The causes of my friend's worries, the sources of their suffering, the high notes of Jin. Sorry, that's not part of the dialogue. I'm just, I'm just saying. I need to know. The only way I can save them. All right, the most beautiful moment in life, I'm fine. Oh, instead of save me, it's called I'm fine. It's the opposite of save me, you get it? So it's a continuation of the save me webtoon. So it's more, it's kind of like a storytelling. So let's see if we make decisions in episode two. How to offer a hand isolated room. I thought it would be enough to just stop the fight, but 
I have been too focused on a single incident, and I haven't taken a proper look at Namjoon's life. Welcome, <clears throat> welcome. I can't sound like him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I rolled down the window to to come face to face with Namjoon. Oh, Sokjin. Orimania. I mean, it's been a while. <laughs> This one phrase is going to mark the beginning of saving them all. Hey, that was the scene we saw from the Blood, Sweat, and Tears Japanese version at like at the end. You work here? Yes, when it's really busy, I sleep here too. Well, I pretty much spend half my time here. You're living in that little room I saw. You you come out of earlier? I keep in touch with Hosok and Taehyung, but well, I'm sure they're they're all doing well. Ah, so he only keeps in touch with Hosok and Taehyung. Hmm, that's a clue to something, yeah? I never knew he would sleep at the gas station, so this is new. I glanced around and tried to act natural as I meander toward the door Namjoon came out of. I want to find something that might help. Oh, this is new? The, la 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 la, the little gas station room that he described to me as the employee break room actually seems to be Namjoon's second home. I spot a bundle of newspaper wrapped around something nestled in Namjoon's open backpack. What is it? I have to open it. I, I just gotta open it. This is bad, but I need to know. We're gonna get in trouble, huh? There's something hard in the newspaper bundle. I peel it open out out, out of curiosity. A strange shard of glass lies, lies inside. Huh? Okay. It looks like a piece from a car or motorcycle headlight. Is he planning to throw it away? No, it looks like he's trying to put it together. Maybe it has some kind of meaning to him, but there's nothing special about it. Boy, what do you mean nothing special? I glance around the room, a few books stand in a pile. Cosmos. <gasps> it's a Carl Sagan book. We never heard this before. It's it looks It looks new. Did he just start reading it? I spot a notebook wedged between the books. I hope there's something written here. The notebook contains date marked entries and a wad and a wad of receipts. Wad. Reading it doesn't sit right with my conscience, but there's no time to waste. Maybe there's things written here that I don't know about Namjoon. Oh my god, he's gonna get caught, huh? I picked up the notebook. Episode two ends! Okay, so we made one decision so far. All right, episode three, let's go. Reading the first page of Namjoon's notebook re renders me speechless. It contains journal entries detailing Namjoon's daily life. <gasps> it's a container, December, I returned to Songju. So this is when he came back from the village where his parents are now. January, the work at the gas station isn't bad. There are some rude customers every so often, but I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. I went to the bookstore and bought a book. I've already read it through the library, but I really wanted to own it. Sometimes just reading alone isn't enough. I hope I'll be able to buy more books in the future. What? <laughs> no. February, I think luck is on my side this month. I found a short-term job at a wedding hall. Wedding hall? It was hard on my body, but I managed to finish paying off the hospital bills I was behind on. Hospital bills for his father who is ill. I live in the village with his brother and his mom right now. March, I'm able to continue work at the wedding hall. I got a call saying that Nam Hyun, Nam Hyun, who's Nam Hyun? Nam Hyun, the brother, got into trouble again, leading to unexpected expenses. Okay, my Nam Hyun, my his brother. Oh, when will my younger brother snap out of it? Okay, he confirmed it. He worries me. April, dad's health has worsened. The emergency surgery is complete, but the hospital bills have ballooned to levels I can't afford. I need to find at least two more jobs to keep paying. Y'all know Namjoon's been working like multiple jobs since he was young in the storyline. There's a limit to how much time and stamina I have. The life Namjoon's notebook details is more difficult than I expected. 
I knew Namjoon was the de facto head of this household, his household, but I didn't think it was to this degree. I feel sorry for him, but I also can't help but I, I feel sorry for him, but I also can't help being impressed by his maturity. Not once does Namjoon write how difficult things are for him, typically. Typical. Sorry. Now that I think about it, he never really made it obvious back then either. Kim Namjoon, this is so like you. There are books title. Bo there are book titles written on the corner of the notebook. It looks like a list of books he'd like to purchase. No exit. <gasps> the Devil and the Good Lord. We saw that in the the teaser for this thing. The Life Before Us. Ooh, girl. Okay, I need to like note these down later. Oh, you were here. You were in here. Huh? Oh yeah. I just. Oh, sorry. I'm like adding words to. I wanted to get out of your way, so I didn't bother you while you were working. I came in here without permission. Sorry. It's all right. It isn't a grand place or anything. What were you doing? Hmm. <laughs> I was reading. Should I say I was reading? I'll just say I was reading. I was reading. Reading what, my dudes? A book? What book? <laughs> I saw it here and skimmed it. Is it good? I've read it before, but it's always fun rereading it. You should also read it sometime. The conversation flows more easily now that we're talking about books. So did I make the right call? I don't know. I don't know. Recommending a book despite all that's going on, you must be a serious reader. I start getting up when my elbow hits something. Oh. I turn back in alarm. I must have hit the stacked pile of books. Money. Huh? Ticket. I'm confused. Receipt, coin, book, slippers. <laughs> books and receipts are scattered all over the floor. There's even money. It looks like change received after purchasing something. I'm sorry, Namjoon. I'll pick it up. What? They're making me decide to pick up the books or pick up the money and the receipts. Pick up the money and the receipts. Pick up the money and the receipts. I reach towards the money and the receipts. Is it gonna get defensive if I do that? It's okay, just a bit dusty is all. Did I do the wrong one? Nanjun picks up the book before the money on the floor. Don't people usually pick up money before the books? That's what I would do. It looks like the books are beyond a hobby to Namjoon. They hold special meaning. I'm sorry, I should have been more careful. It's okay, it happens. Namjoon smile as if to lessen my embarrassment. Guess you have your clumsy moments too. <laughs> wow. Were you like that before? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd like to make a payment on a patient bill. Oh my god, I think the, the guardian's name should be Kim Namjoon. Oh, the payer name? And the payer name? He's gonna lie. If Namjoon knew, he'd get angry. So he's gonna lie. Who Who should I say it's from? Please put the Songho Foundation. Songho Foundation? Is that his, com his dad's company? Songho Foundation. Episode 4. Let's do this. What's important is what comes after. I need to calm Namjoon down the right way. The customer's money falls to the floor. Why aren't you picking it up? You don't want it? What's that look? Pretty arrogant for a part-timer, aren't you? Namjoon's shoulder shakes as he balls his hand into a fist. But he stops for a moment looking taken aback when he when we lock eyes. Is this 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 was the scene on that we also saw from Euphoria, yeah? Ooh, now, what? Um, I get involved. I get involved, right? Pick it up yourself. That's, why don't you pick it up yourself? Did I do the right one? I don't know if I did the right one. Huh? When'd you get here? I step between Namjoon and the customer because I can't get, I can't change what Namjoon's gonna do, but I could change how the customer feels towards Namjoon by making them mad at me, right? Did I do the right one? Ha! <laughs> and who are you? So now his attention has shifted over to me, Sokjin. Who are you to tell me to pick it up? Boy, I'm rich. I'm the CEO of a company. Hello? Sorry, why am I getting all like hyped up? I'm the part-timer's older brother. 
He seems to believe me because the man looks taken aback. That's right. You've come to a gas station to fill up, so do that and leave. Why are you harassing a pitiful part-timer? You! Or you can let it sit there and leave. I furrow my brows and intimidate him. He must feel like he's lost because the main, the main, the main, the man drives away from the station. Oh my god, did we do it? Did we do it? Alright, at least I stopped the fight. Oh my god, but did I make Namjoon mad at me? Oh my gosh, okay. I successfully kept Namjoon out of the fight just like I intended. Namjoon, are you okay? Why'd you punch me? Worried, I turned back to look at Namjoon. But something about him is strange. He doesn't look mad or even humiliated. Namjoon's face is expressionless. Did we do the wrong one? Namjoon? Sukjun, you... Namjoon eventually stops himself from continuing and closes his mouth. <sighs> Never mind, thank you for your help. That's all he manages to voice, thank you. The words seemed so difficult for him to say. His pride, that's why, yeah? I'm going to go back to work now. With that, Namjoon turns around. Oh, yeah. I have a weird feeling. No, did I do the wrong? Ugh. Where on earth could he be going? Namjoon seems to be close to his destination. His footsteps quicken. He seems excited. What's going on? What? This is a new Namjoon I've never been able to see in the previous loops. So did we do it? He finally stops in front of the bookstore. Oh, is he going to buy a book? Is he where he buys books? <gasps> Namjoon walks into the store and I hurry in after him. I can hear the bookstore employees as I watch Namjoon hidden behind one of the bookcases. What? Girl! Sorry, I gotta read it. Don't you think we should go say something? I'm worried he's going to dirty up the page. Girl! Dirty up the pages! Sorry guys, I gotta calm down. I'm not sure why he does that when he's not going to buy them all. Hold on. Excuse me? Are they trying to stop him from touching the books? When his repeated throat clearing gets no response, the employee makes a point of loudly organizing books and shooting Namjoon dirty looks. Hey, however, Namjoon doesn't budge an inch. He's deeply engrossed in the book. The employee gives up and goes back to his original spot, shaking his head. Same as always. The sight of Namjoon suddenly reminds me of a memory. What memory, though? What book is that thick? Is it a master encyclo encyclopedia? <laughs> it's not that thick. Oh, my bad, Namjoon, okay. Okay. The book in Namjoon's hand has a profound title. Say that he's amazing. Don't make a joke. Say he's amazing, okay? Yes. What's the book about? Who's Sarathustra? I'm still reading it. I feel like I'd get sleepy after just one page. Wow, Nam Kim Namjoon. I'm starting to see you differently. <laughs> don't tease me. I don't remember what Namjoon said then. But how could I have forgotten what books mean to Namjoon? Oh wow, we're gonna really we going with Epiphany? It probably wasn't easy to keep buying books considering his financial situation. I'm sure some days his food budget would shrink. <sighs> some months he might have less money for transportation. It's only now that I think I finally understand the questions surrounding Namjoon. I better go tell him that I'm sorry for carelessly sympathizing. With the reality he's had to endure alone. Look at his smile! <laughs> Episode 5. Oh, why don't you love? Oh, it's. <laughs> wow. So, yes, that is all for today. We finished five chapters, and there's like two more in that section. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, let me know down in the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click that like button and also join the Flare Squad by subscribing, you guys. Thanks for watching.